My brothers and my sisters, I bring you greetings from the South England Conference. Over the past 18 months, most of us have been at home on Sabbaths participating in worship via Zoom. And this is good and has helped us to maintain connections and virtual fellowship. As churches are opened, some congregations are still using the Zoom platform while other members are attending the same church in person. This is also a commendable approach. We are, however, concerned of those congregations that choose to stream their services via YouTube. Please remember that the whole world is observing how we conduct our services. We want to showcase Seventh-day Adventism within the South England Conference in the best possible way. I'm afraid that when we visit some live services on YouTube on a Sabbath, we are not always representing our church in a positive way. The quality of our services should be one that brings honor and glory to God rather than an embarrassment. So we suggest you use the Zoom platform rather than the YouTube to save any discomfiture. I was thrilled to hear of one of our members who has taken our theme making disciples and building communities to another level. Dr. Ose Adai is an elder of West Bletchley Community, SDA Church, and the church has become a beacon of hope for the community as all issues of community involvement are referred to him. His ministry involves helping people to process their application forms for waivers, whatever that might be, or such as applying for a job, or signposting them to agencies to enable them to qualify for benefits, covering all legal issues that they would need to review and appraisals and evaluating their current status to enhance their credibility and ensuring that they can be accepted for whatever they have applied for. Dr. Ade describes his win as a win for all humanity and the migrant community in general. It is the acknowledgement of his ceaseless labor on behalf of the poor, the marginalized, the destitute, the orphans, the widow, and the lone stranger. His example is the genuine essence of the outworking of Christianity to labor for the needy, thereby making disciples and building communities. When we do this, we make our Lord Jesus Christ pleasant and appealing to the world. During this year, 2021, the various groups and charitable organizations came together to select a community champion for individuals whose activities are making a tremendous impact on the community and bring relief to people from all classes race, ethnicities, and backgrounds. From the 20 names that were selected and voting that took place, Dr. Adai won the prestigious Community Champion Award. And so on the night of the 30th of October, at 8 p.m., there was a special gathering of all those who were involved in this ministry and the mayor of Milton Keynes came and made the presentation to Dr. Adai as the Community Champion Award winner. 
One distinguishing feature that clinched the award was providing services and resources to people without charge and ably supported by friends and colleagues of different faiths who have seen the perception and goal as God-driven, but not for material gains nor egotistical gains. We praise God for this achievement and for the many lives that have been touched as a result of this ministry. Will you pray with me? Father, we thank you that you have entrusted men and women and gifted them to be able to reach out and help those who are desperately in need. Today we praise God for what Dr. Adai the elder of Milton Keynes is doing in that community. And we pray, God, that as we go around making disciples and building communities, you will continue to bless our efforts and we will impact our community for Jesus Christ. Thank you for what you will do this week. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>